Authorities can't simply ignore the reason that some people refuse to use them. Authorities! Health authority! Ah -ha! Fuck you. Last week, the former Major League Baseball player Aubrey Huff announced on Twitter that he's no longer wearing masks inside any business. It's unconstitutional force, he wrote. It is. And it's against civil liberties. It's against every fucking thing. It's against humanity. Let's make this bullshit stop now. Who's with me in the video that went viral the following day? He said his critics had tried to shame him for threatening the lives of millions of innocent. <laughs> and instead that he considered dying from the coronavirus preferable to wearing a damn mask. Thousands of people responded to Huff saying many called him a social disgrace. Oh, look at all these agents for disrespecting his community, uh -huh. abdicating his civic duty, a uh, civic duty, uh, and putting grandma at risk. The anger toward mass naysayers is understandable and shaming can feel really thing. Uh, that's because what you want them to do. Uh. Force your own fucking regulations, bitch. Don't make your fucking slaves do it. Yet, those responses did nothing to persuade Huff to wear a mask. Instead, they played right into his notions about finger-wagging elites, public health experts. They're not experts. They're just fucking douchebags who want to take away their freedoms of ordinary Americans. Yeah, because China owns us. During a health crisis, some people quickly accommodate a major shift in behavioral norms. But long-standing habits, such as not wearing a mask at the grocery store, are difficult to break. Oh, uh, not really. And until recently, a few American adults have been called upon to do so. Some have, though. Some have, though, and parallels are instructive. Americans figuring out how to live with a deadly new virus. Oh, just a game idea with AIDS. Ugh. What does AIDS have to do with a fucking virus? You don't wear a mask to stop AIDS. You wear a fucking condom because you have sex. Abstinence. Ugh. I'm not going to read that bullshit. The public health measures around masks during the coronavirus pandemic has been muddled and confusing. The Atlantic. The federal government recommended against face coverings for the public in March, with some public health officials posting that they may even cause more harm than good. But a growing body of science, including evidence that people can transmit the virus when they don't have symptoms, indicates that masks are an important tool. Ugh. Well, what about your eyes? What about your ears? What about any orifice in your body? What happens when you fucking touch a wall, touch a door, and you take your mask off and you rub your fucking nose? What happens? If you're worried about contracting the virus, you're about dying, so stay home. Just stay home. Don't go anywhere. Don't make thousands, billion, millions. The whole rest of the world follow a regulation to save fucking people who don't even contribute to your tax base. That's garbage. You're just tanking it. You're tanking it. It's all political. It's all garbage. It's all bullshit, people. Lou, let's change your currency. Yeah, we're monarch. Oh, Moloch, 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 Moloch. Money, money, money. Fuck me in the ass. For my degree in coronavirus transmissions, especially in combination of physical distancing, Hand hygiene. You know what? I'm just going to rub my ass and just rub fucking everything everywhere. I'm just going to fucking take my hand and just rub it in my asshole. And I'm going to fucking rub every fucking thing I see. For migraine coronavirus transmission, especially in combination of physical distancing, hand hygiene, other preventative strategies. Oh, we're so afraid. Oh, I don't have an immune system. My immune system. Don't wear. Don't take vitamin D. Don't take any time purpose that's going to stop a virus. Just wear a mask. Sales distance. Six feet. Fuck you all, you fucking retarded asshole slaves, bitch. You listen to me. You listen to me. You don't even need to fucking take reasons. You will follow unjustified rules because I'm the Lord, bitch. For migraine, coronavirus transmission, especially no accommodation, physical distancing, hand hygiene. Indeed, public health concerns may justify mask mandates. No, they don't. Including, in, no, they don't. No, they don't. What about a fucking plane? You get your air recycled all the time when you're there. A mask ain't gonna do shit, bitch. But mandates have major downsides. Any of us likely to disproportionately affect communities that are already marginalized. And some Americans, including some elected leaders in states, facing serious coronavirus outbreaks. Okay, whatever. Then get it. And die. Who cares? Die. Die. Pussy. Believe that requiring people to wear a mask is an infringement on civil liberties. It is. It is. Yeah, look, President Mox Max wears for appearing weak and sees face coverings as a political statement against him. It's no surprise that some Americans are loudly declined to wear them. See, it's a political thing. And, oh, I'm Trump. I'm going to play the guy that looks like I'm against it, but I'm really just all a part of it because it's all game. It's all fun and games. Mark refuse are more likely to be politically conservatives and I'm just trying see it. Oh, if you don't wear a mask, it's because you support Trump. You see that? Mass refuse 
Mass appears are more likely to be political conservative. Wow. This is such a garbage article. Like, fucking propaganda crap. The various states where mass mandates are least likely to be adopted. Red states. See, uh, the political thing. See, virus is politics. A virus votes red or blue. As one research team noted, men are especially likely. Men. See? Men. But it'll be shameful. It is shameful. It's shameful. It is a sign of weakness. Then kill me. Kill me. Pussy, you won't. Oh wow, now look, they're comparing it to a seatbelt. Oh, in this catch term. It's a safety feature. Yeah, my body is a seatbelt. Call the mute system, bitch. Fuck. <laughs>